Have you ever felt overwhelmed juggling between multiple Excel files? Imagine this, you are managing sales data for different regions and every week you have to copy and paste the data into a master's work. That is quite overwhelming and it is error prone tedious and honestly a waste of time now imagine a world where all these updates can be done automatically no more late night no more copy and paste disaster just seamless automatic data updates between excel files hi everyone i'm mary and i'm your host on data monarch chat today we'll be talking about how to move data between excel files how to extract specific colon or data from an excel file and also how to combine multiple data files into one sheet let me tell you about a friend of mine sarah who is a project manager her job involves consolidating multiple sheets from her team every week she will spend hours copying and pasting data and there was a time she had to submit a report and she realized she missed a specific region in our reports and you guys could tell what the result was when she presented to our boss so she walked up to me and asked me how i've been working working effectively with my use of excel told her of an excel trick which i will be also showing you today which is using tables to link data between sheets and also between excel files so let's dive right in guys yeah i have data on the south region and i also make a copy of this same data in this room but the first thing i'll have here is to create a table with this data so it's Ctrl T to create a table. You ensure that my table at that column is T. I press your OK. Now you go to the new. Before you go to the new sheet, here under the table design menu, you will see the name of your table. So you might need to change it or you might leave it. And for me, I'm going to leave the table name just as it, as it is. So the next thing I'll be doing now is that I'll go to the new tab and you press your equal to the name of the table. It's you can see that. As they already brought out the name of the table, so you double click on it, you use your square bracket, then you click on all, double click on the all, and you press enter. Then it's going to start for you. They understand which region here has been linked together with a new sheet. So let me update something here. Let me just put any number here. You see that automatically it is updated in the new sheet. That's not all though. From the table, let's say you want to extract a specific color. thing you do is that you come back to your first cell of the table. You double click on it and you delete the all. Instead of the all, you click on the colon you want to extract. I want to extract the product column. So you click on it. You press enter. So here you have it. So also let's say I want to extract another another colon which is the price colon. You copy the this colon you've created. Note one amazing thing about dynamic array is that no matter where you copy or paste the already created dynamic array, it still maintains the same format. So just like you can see here. So you double click on this and you change it instead of products to your desired colon. Here you have it. Can you see now? So if you have any questions, please do also ask in the comment section below. So that's just one way of filtering. And I want you to note that this can only be used to filter by colon. So I'll be taking you through on how to filter by row. But this time around, I'll be showing you using different Excel files. As you can see on the screen, I have different Excel files. So in the new excel workbook upgraded you press your equal to then you highlight the table range you can see that it has shown then you just press your control enter then you can see that it has automatically updated data in the new sheet in this example i'll be showing you how to filter by row but before we move forward how you will you will have to create extra rows above this data so you create the extra rows using your control shift and plus just as many as you think it's needed filter yeah i want to filter out product a from this table i have below then you write your product a so after you've done that you come to the first cell of the table that has been generated in the new sheet you double click on it then after your immediately after your equal to you write the filter function open bracket then this is the table range which is this you press your comma and then you come back here to the original data sheet you, you highlight the column that asks the value that you want to filter out which is the product column so you highlight it you press your and then equal to this i want it to be filtered by this and close your back then you can see here just as you've seen so let me just label this product you can also do what you can change it let's say you want to filter by product b you can see automatically it's filtering it out for you this will help if you have a master file and you want to divide it by products so so far we've discussed on how to move data and also how to filter out data once if sarah wants to consolidate data from multiple regions into the master file manually copying this can drive one crazy so this is what you do instead i have sheets on each region west region and the south region i want to consolidate this into one master file so the first thing you have to do is to create a new workbook and you will do that by using your control n 
in the new workbook you go to your data menu and you come here to get data from Paul and just as you can see on the screen from Excel workbook it might take a bit of time to load but be patient with it then you go right to where you have your documents that has all the files you want to consolidate for me it's my regional store then you import now you have this interface you can just click on one of the values you don't necessarily have to click on everything then you come down here under this navigator interface to your transform data the first thing to do on this interface is to remove is to remove every steps that has been generated and leave only the source step here and then coming back here to my workbook i don't need this item kind and hidden column so what i will do is that i will delete them so you press your control you press down your control and you highlight it all you come here to this menu you remove alone so we have what we need so the next thing you'll be doing here is that we want to expand our data and you will see an icon in front of data column header you click on it it says here that list may be incomplete but i want my list to be complete so you say load more you click on the load more okay so this has combined all the sheets i have in my regional sales data in, in my regional sales file the first thing you want to do once you have this is to select use first rule as headers and you will notice some values some headers as to showing within this table so come here to product anyone that has the header name you will click it and you can see our data is in it and is ready to be used then close and load now as you can see our data has been consolidated into the master file so you can check here we have data of the east region the south region and the west region the north region sheet has just been recently added to the regional cell data and i want it to be updated automatically in my staff file so all we do is that you go to your you open up your master file excel document and you come here to your table design under the table design you will see refresh just click on the refresh and then to know if your table has been automatically updated you just come here to your east region and then you can see that my north region has been added and every other sheet that had has been added to the regional sales file has been updated automatically here in my master file so now you know how to automate data between files you know how to filter at specific column or row and also you know how to combine data into an excel file whether you are a sales manager or a project manager whatsoever or a teacher whatsoever field you are in this will help you a lot if this was helpful hit the like button below and also scroll subscribe to get more excel tips and if you also know a friend of yours that has been having issues with their data do want to share this to them as this will surely help them let me know in the comment section what's your biggest excel challenge and i can just make a video for you thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one bye